Hello, this is Blocks. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing video of the Tiger Music low level desk microphone stand with round bass. Okay, so I've gone ahead and flipped the box over here. Let's open it up and take a look at what we've got inside. So we've got the uh, round base over here, and then what looks like the uh, microphone sort of stand and boom arm here on that bit. Let me get these out of the plastic packaging and we'll look at them in a bit more detail. Right, so there's actually three pieces of equipment, I guess, in the box here. We've got the round base itself, which is really solid. Let me try and bring that up close to the camera. You can see the detail on that, hopefully. Uh, it does look like it's actually been greased in there, in the thread. So when we screw in the uh, microphone shaft and then the sort of, I guess this is the boom arm here, and that's the adjuster, and perhaps the microphone goes on the end there. When we screw this into the base, it should uh, go in nice and smoothly. And then finally, there's another thing here which looks like, yeah, this thread I think, will go on, yeah, that goes on there, I guess. And so if you've got like a uh, more traditional sort of handheld mic or something, you would you would pop it into that, I think, and that would kind of hold that up. Now that's pretty good. Let's look at the boom arm in a bit more detail. I think what I might have to do here is just loosen this off camera. Uh, let me see if I can do it here for you. Oh no, it's actually pretty easy. That's got a really nice feel to it. And then this, I think, will open up. Let me move the base out of the way over there and bring this back into shot. Yeah, so we can move this fairly easily. It's got quite a nice motion to it. We've got an adjustable uh, nut or I don't know what these are called. Kind of unscrew that which I suspect. Hmm, let me have a look at this in a bit more detail uh, and I'll bring you back in. Right, so it turned out it was actually just easier to assemble the unit, pop the shaft of the microphone stand into the base, and it did have uh, grease on the inside here. Let me pick it up, and you can probably see that on the back there. So that went in really, really nicely. It sits off the bottom of the stand, which is really, really good. The boom mic arm itself here uh, actually moves in and out really smoothly. So you put the microphone on that end, and then you've kind of got this end here that you can hold and then sort of move the whole stand around, up and down and things like that. Uh, this adjuster, uh, which we were fiddling with here, actually holds the boom arm in place in terms of sort of sliding in and out of this bit here. So this is a single, uh, almost tunnel, I guess, hollow cylinder. These things on the end aren't adjusters, they're just there to, I guess, hold this uh, piece in place and then the boom arm's controlled by that and, and goes kind of in and out. And then your swivel motion is controlled by that, this, and that goes up and down nice and smoothly. Now let's just do that back up a little bit. Let's do it with one finger, not too bad. And then finally under here, this actually uh, loosens off as well and you can take the whole of this unit off. Let me bring that to the edge. Uh, hopefully that'll be easier to do. I can actually spin it round. You can see there, I'm actually spinning this entire thing round. So if you wanted to put this onto a perhaps even smaller stand or something, you could probably do that or take off the boom mic arm separately. I think that's actually it for the features. Uh, I'm not sure what this is here. It appears to be some kind of clip. So perhaps you would put a maybe a music stand or something in here to kind of hold music up like that and then you would sort of see it and, and play it um, if you're using it for you know perhaps a guitar or a low level instrument something like that. For me I'm going to be using this for uh, recording uh, to pop my uh, Samson Meteor mic on the end there and I think that's actually the key features of the stand. It's pretty good. I spent about uh, 22 pounds on this and it seems pretty good value for money. It does what it says on the tin. There is a little bit of, um, I don't know what you call this, is this flashing or discoloration towards the bottom of the actual stand itself? But that's the only real kind of issue I could find with it. It's only a cosmetic one. 
So I think this is going to be just fine for me. Uh, if you'd like to know more about kind of how I get on with this Tiger low-level microphone stand with round base, then please drop a message in the comments and I'll tell you how I get on in a couple of months' time. Take it easy, thanks for watching, I hope it's been useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!